In this video, I'm going to walk you through the three most important factors when it comes to getting a good harvest out of your mushrooms. The most important factors are temperature, humidity, and CO2 concentration, which will be affected by the airflow through your box. The most important factor is temperature. Shiitake mushrooms like temperatures from around 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Room temperature in your house should do just fine. If you find that your mushrooms are too small and they're growing very quickly, it's likely that you're in a hotter climate and you need to bring the temperature down a little bit. If you find that your mushrooms are growing too slowly, it could be that the environment is too cold. We highly recommend that you grow your mushrooms indoors. On a kitchen counter is a great spot, for example, right next to a water source and an indirect sunlight. A common misconception is that mushrooms need darkness to grow. Please do not grow your mushrooms underneath the kitchen sink or anywhere else that lacks sunlight. The second most important factor is humidity. The ideal humidity for growing shiitake mushrooms would be 70% to 80%. Your house will normally be at around 40% if you're using air conditioning. In order to keep the humidity high, we recommend filling the black trays that come with your kit with water and placing either a sponge or a paper towel in with it to allow the water to evaporate off and increase the humidity. If you live in a drier climate like Texas, Nevada, or California, be sure to spray your log more often. If you want to extend the life of your mini mushroom farm box, a good idea would be to line it with cling wrap. You can place this underneath the black trays and this will keep moisture from getting into the cardboard. The last factor to consider is the CO2 and oxygen in the air surrounding your mushroom log. Mushrooms need oxygen to breathe. They take it in and release carbon dioxide just like we do. If you find that your mushrooms are growing too tall with long stems, it's because they're reaching for oxygen. To keep your stems short, the most important thing is that there's constant airflow through the box. The best way to do this is to make sure that you've punched out the three holes in the back of the box. Keep in mind that there's a delicate balance between airflow and humidity. If there's too much air running through the box, the log could dry out due to low humidity. If there's not enough, the mushrooms will be reaching for oxygen. If you want the best growth out of your mini mushroom farm, keep these three important factors in mind. Temperature, humidity, and airflow. 